I received a letter the other day about an amazing high school football coach and his team in Ferguson, Missouri. And uh, here's what it says. Dear Ellen, Howard Brown is the head football coach at McClure South Berkeley High School. In his 15 years as a coach, he has made it his life's work to change the life, lives of at-risk youth in our community. He treats these kids as if they're his own and will do anything to make sure they feel loved. His players don't have much, and so Coach B uses his own money to provide food, uniforms, and gear for them. Many of his players don't have positive male role models and consider Coach B their father. Because of him, these kids are beating incredible odds. Coach B doesn't just teach boys football, he teaches them life. So, all right, and here they are right now. They think they're about to do an interview with one of my producers, but we're using Cisco, and when I say go, I'm going to surprise them. All right, let's go. Hey, y'all. How's it going? Hi. <laughs> I, I just, uh, <laughs> I just, I just thought I'd pop in and say hi. Okay, bye. <laughs> yeah. No, no, I'm gonna say more than that. Uh, someone is at the classroom door right now, though. Is someone knocking? Someone coming in? Coach B is right there, and uh, you have been the head football coach for 15 years. Tell us about your team. Yes, uh, this is my football team. Um, I've been here 15 years. This is the best place in the world. If you ever come to St. Louis, which these guys are here in St. Louis, please come here on a Saturday afternoon, and you will see the most amazing people on the planet. These guys right here, it is the best place on the world. I'm, I'm in the world, I promise yes, you. Yes, sir! <laughs> I believe you're making it the best place, but tell us about the neighborhood uh, so that everyone understands the conditions where you're teaching. Uh, basically, we, we're located here in Ferguson. We're the only high school in Ferguson. We're part of the Ferguson Florissant School District. And um, basically, in this neighborhood, you have the haves and have nots. And we have everything from individuals being homeless to people who are in that middle class. And so every single day, uh, it's a struggle for these young men to, you know, make it, make it home safely from practice. And so at times, we will, we will cut practice short so they can get home safely. But uh, every single day, it's, it's, it's an amazing opportunity for these young men to show and prove that, you know, we're, you're not a part of the environment and every single day, they're just amazing people. Yep, you're not a product of your environment. Absolutely. So, I know that it's a, that, tell us there's a story about how important it is that your team has clean uniforms. Tell everybody why it's so important and what you do. <laughs> Well, I mean, every every single, you know, every game, you know, we might play a team that, you know, that do have the resources that we don't have. And so when we've been blessed to have the opportunity to get new uniforms, we take care of them. So, you know, we'll get down each one, each one of these coaches, that's like a rite of passage for a coach to be here, that you got to get down there in, in the equipment room. You got to scrub the uniforms so they get white, and, that really nice and clean and white or whatever the color the uniform is. And we scrub them, scrub them, scrub them until they get, they get, they get where we feel is, uh, is where faith and hard work should be. All right, so uh, tell everyone, the players, what do they have to do before they are on the team? There's something they have to do in order to be on the team. Well, the only thing you have to do to be part of our team is to be a good citizen, to be a good person, and to be a, and to be a good uh, student in the school. And that's all you have to do. We don't cut anyone here. Um, that's a motto that we started 15 years ago. So when you come out for the team, all you have to do is just go home, do your homework. When you're in school, make your grades, do what you're supposed to do in school. And then when you walk around the neighborhood to represent what Faith and Homework is and just do the right thing. And then you will get a uniform, you're ready to go. We are back with Coach B and the McClure South Berkeley <laughs> High School football team. Where is Eric? Which one is Eric? I want to talk to Eric. Oh, yeah. Eric, hi, Eric. Right. How you doing, Ellen? I I'm good, Eric, how are you? I'm doing wonderful. Good. All right, what does Coach B mean to you? Tell me what you think of Coach B. Uh, Coach B is a wonderful guy. Um, I didn't have a father in my life none of my years. Uh, Coach B stepped at, he, he stepped into my life and became a, a father it to me like he's like the best thing ever. If it wasn't for him, I don't know where, where I'd be right now. I, I, all the coaches, I, lo I love every single one of them. That's amazing. And Delano, what can you tell us? 
Hey, how you doing, Ellen? Um, Coach B is an amazing person. Um, since I got here, I had anger issues, and he helped me with um, coping skills and tell me every day that I can't breathe great and let me um, help me with different ways to release my anger other than violence. All right, that's fantastic. There's a new show coming to the CW called All American, uh, and it's about high school football, and it, it touches on a lot of these same themes. And uh, they were so inspired by your story, they want to give your team $25,000. October 10th, 9, 8 central on CW. I want to thank Hosier, Mabel Staples, Jenna Fisher, Nicole Maines. I will see you tomorrow. Be kind to one another. Bye.